I think she started to win a lot of matches in small tournaments and the confidence started to grow. I mean, snowball, it's just snowballed and then she got better results. Try to get her to believe that there was no limit to what she could do. Toronto was a bit scary for her. Play Serena because Toronto is Toronto and that's her hometown and that's after the Grand Slam she's mentioned is the biggest tournament. So she had a little bit of prep there. I mean, the match did not really happen, but the entire preparation happened because we expected that there was going to be a final, a real one. So, uh, so I think this was helpful. And even those four games she played, even if Serena was out of form, she was injured, I think she got to have a little bit of a, a, a vision of what it's like to be on the court with Serena and play her even for 15 minutes. We use that. Now it's difficult because she grew up watching Serena she, and, and being the best player in the world, winning everything for so many years. And suddenly you are facing your idol and not only, so, which is extraordinary, but to go out there and try to win against your idol is another step. This is the start of what she says she wants to be able to accomplish. So if it's only the start, then you, you've, you're not nowhere close to where you want to go or where you want to be. You're just in the right direction. So if this is her mentality, then back to work. Back to work and yes, be wise with your selection. You're gonna get a lot of requests. Be wise with your selection. Uh, but the main focus needs to be what you've been doing, and, it, and, and it's, it's work, but it's your passion as well. So I would say back to work and back to, back to your passion.